Cuny Mobile Fabric has a completely integrated and seamless app publishing and management experience for developers, administrators, and end users. This includes not just deployment of production apps, but preview deployments for developers, as well as app security and management for administrators with a full enterprise app store for the end users. Here in the Mobile Fabric console, I'll start by heading to the All Apps area. Here I can upload an app from anywhere, whether that app was made in the Kony Studio, natively, or anywhere else. You simply follow the wizard for adding a new app. Select your binary and complete the process by choosing the visual collateral to go with the app, such as the icons and screenshots. I'll go back to show you an app that I already finished uploading, the CRM app. In it, you can see the finished result of an iPhone upload here. As you can see, I've got an IPA file, version number designated, along with the icon, various screenshots, and a description that I want to upload and then send over for publishing. So to publish this app from Mobile Fabric over to my management environment so that my mobile administrator can then target it to various users and groups for management and deployment, I'll simply cancel here and go to my publish option. Choose the native client, choose an environment. You can see the version for iOS phone that I'm going to publish and I'll simply select publish to app store. With that done, I'll jump over to the App Store itself. I have a full administrative dashboard just for my application management, device, and content management. I'll go to Enterprise Apps. You can see that that CRM app has now been published directly into my deployment environment. And if I take a look at it, go to the iPhone tab and scroll down, you'll see that that icon, the screenshots, the naming conventions, has all been carried over and automatically published into my deployment environment. Now, as the administrator, I can now optionally apply any app security policy to further define how and when the app can be used if I need to. Simply go to App Policies, create or choose an existing policy, and you can see all the various options for controlling and managing an app. Once you're satisfied with the policies that you want to apply, the last step is to target the app to the users and groups that should receive it. Let's go back to my app. Now I simply scroll down and add some targeting for the app. In this case, I'm gonna choose the group apps that has already been created in the system. So if you're a user of that group, you'll now receive a message on your device that that app is now available. Now as a user, I've just received a notification that the CRM app is available in my enterprise app store. So I'll switch to my device view and the first thing that I need to do is open up Launchpad to view my apps. With Launchpad open, I simply give it my network credentials and hit login. I can see that I have an enterprise app available, and it's the CRM app, so I'll simply choose to install it. So, as you can see, CRM is populated under My Apps, and I have the option to open it from here, as well as from the icon on the home screen. So, as a user, I was simply notified that the app was available and I went and I fetched it. As an option, administrators can set apps as mandatory installs and have them start the install completely automated. Further, because this is a fully managed application environment, as the administrator, at any point, I can go back into the admin console and I can remove targeting from users or groups and have that app automatically purged from the user's devices or simply change security policies on the fly and push updates live as necessary. This should give you a high level of view of the application management functionality available in the Kony Mobile Fabric environment.